All right, so welcome to the Beauty and Violence podcast. We're about to cover the fights for tonight. So let's start with the main event that got dropped. What do you what do you think about that, uh, Jim? Honestly, I'm disappointed. I was looking forward to seeing um, if Curtis Blaze would be able to take down Derrick Lewis and control him, or if Lewis would be able to keep it standing and knock him out. So I'm, I'm very disappointed about that. But hey, it is what it is. Like the reason why I found that matchup intriguing is because although it always looks like someone is going to be able to uh, hold Derek Lewis down or or just impose their will on him yeah. in reality we never actually get a chance to see that like 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 it's not it's like when does Derek Lewis ever get dominated and lose it's usually he gets dominated and then he ends up winning somehow Knocks yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah or, or 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 like the opposite so it's like it's or he gets dominated or he gets he gets, he get, you got to get it out, get him out of there fast most of the time. The only person who was able to do both was, um, was DC. Like DC was able to dominate him and win. But, you know, yeah. that's DC but that's, arguably. That's DC. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Arguably the greatest, you know, heavyweight of all time. So, um, arguably. what do you think? What do you, I, I mean, if you ask me, <clears throat> I'm going to pick DC as the best heavyweight of all time. Like, because you know, you know his, me. Because Uncle of his DC track record. Is my guy. So, <laughs> Now, I'm what do you, you on that one? What, what do you What do you think about What do you think about what that matchup was like, and what do you think about uh, that event dropping? Well, my my biggest hurt from this is that we are Derek Lewis's post fight interview was taken from us, and that's yeah. always a bad thing. <laughs> always a bad thing. <laughs> it's terrible. But um, but first and foremost, you know, our best wishes go out to Curtis Blaze. I mean, it, it sucks. Ron is an asshole. Yeah. But um. It sucks, man. That was a that was a hell of a fight because it's one of those that you know. In my heart, I I know Derek Lewis should take that victory. I just I just think Derek Lewis is so much better than even he realizes. But um, Curtis Blades is no joke. That is a tactician. You know, we speak about tacticians all the time, and he knows how to get away. You know, get around things. Maybe not Francis Ngannou's right hand, but he knows how to yeah, get around. Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. He said maybe not so, Francis Ngannou's right hand. <laughs> yeah. So. But I was I was hype about that fight. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good fighters on this card. They may not be that well known. There's a lot of good fighters on this card. So yeah. it sucks. But let's see. Anthony Smith, it's time to take that spotlight, baby. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see who, because I don't know any of the fighters um, really on this card. Like, I, I, I know probably altogether, like, three fighters. So it'll be yeah. interesting to see who the standouts are, because a lot of times in these sleeper cards, like you'll get like these breakout fighters who you're like, yeah. oh shit. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. like for example, like, um, like chaos, like chaos. Yeah. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he just came out of nowhere. Another, another guy who was like that is yeah. Michelle Pajeda, the guy that who, who he's fighting. Michelle Pajeda was yeah. on a sleeper card. And then I just seen this dude like. Came out like, dancing. Like, like who's this word? Guy? Like <laughs> he was, he was like running yeah. like, like, like off of the cage. I'm like, dang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so, honestly, um, sometimes sometimes these sleeper cards have the best knockouts and the best fights. So that's why um, it's good to watch even the prelims because a lot of times these unknown like cards have are better than a lot of the main cards sometimes. So it can surprise you. Hunger. And hunger breeds most of the time for better fights from when they when that spotlight starts in it. Because the last pay per view, everybody was just like, even if you saw that Brendan Schaub hit that, he was just like, you know, this is not a pay-per-view. You got, you can't yeah. even pay for this. And I was kind of with him, you know. And I mean, to pay money for something, there's got to be some kind of stardom in a sense, you know. Granted, if you're a fight fan, you're going to pay for it no matter what, as we are. Yeah. But for the for the regulars, you know, it's going to take more than that. But look at how that car turned out. That car was awesome. Amazing awesome. car. So... I'm so happy I paid for that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have been pissed if I missed that. So, it, it varies. So, what I do hope, you guys I think? I hope that the, get, the fight just gets extended. Though. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. But I just hope the fight gets extended, not, like, canceled completely, and then they get there and go to somebody else. Because that's a hell of a yeah. fight, man. I want to see that. Yeah, that's probably – that's that's pretty much, like, one of the top three fights you could put on in the, in the heavyweight division right now. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, you got you got Ngano and Stipe, <clears throat> obviously. You got um you know John Jones. I don't know, John Jones is kinda like waiting in the wind somewhere, but you got like Izzy and Jan, and then you got Curtis Blades and 
Derek Lewis. Like we don't know yeah. what John Jones is about to do. So and Eng- Engano's head is about to explode. You saw that interview. Yeah, He's like, man, I'm in my prime right now, bro. My, I, I'm not taking this. When am I gonna fight? When am I gonna yeah. get my belt? You know, he's pissed as well. He should be. You know, like he's on. I mean, he did his thing after that loss. He's he's he won four straight fights. It's it's give my man his shot, bro. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Um, is but that fight is set for Marshall, right? Not is it set yet? I'm not sure if it's set. It's not yet. even set yet. That's the problem. Man. They haven't even they haven't even come to any nothing. Stipe is just in the wind doing God knows what. I mean, I mm. wouldn't want to fight Francis again either. <laughs> That's yeah, a fact. Yeah. Shout out shout out to Stipe. He did his thing. <laughs> but who wants to do that again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. He basically spent the whole round like, oh God, oh God, oh God. You know, like <laughs> so all it takes is one. No, nah, that's true. All right, so let's talk about the main event. We'll give our predictions for that one, and then we'll talk about, like, the standout fighters tomorrow. All right. Mm-hmm. So, like, John, who would you – like, who do you favor in this uh, main event? It's tough. It's tough because I originally had Devin Clark win. But – by decision. But um, when, it, when it got turned to a main event, I feel like Anthony Smith has a fire under him now. I don't know why. Something about me is like, now that it's a main event, I, I think Anthony Swift's like chip on the shoulder is going to hit. He's going to, he's going to like explode on this guy now. So I, I'm switching. Now that it's a main event, I'm switching to Anthony Smith by finish. As weird as that sounds, that's my prediction. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I feel like uh, Devin Clark is a, he's a great wrestler. He has a good wrestling background. So, I don't so Anthony said I don't think he's gonna be able to really impose his his ground game. And I think um mm-hmm. Devin Clark, I think Anthony Smith is a better tactician, but I feel like he took so much damage in like his last two fights, like 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 an insane amount of damage in the last two fights. And if you really think about it, those fights weren't too long, like between each other. Like he yeah. like it was like probably like I don't know, the most two months in between each of these three fights. Like the fight with Glover. The fight with um, what's his name, Rackage, and then and then this fight. So I think, I think he's gonna, I, I think he's, I think Devin Clark is gonna win. Mm. But if Anthony Smith is gonna win, I think he's gonna have to like really like, like dig deeper than you know he's ever dug before. I agree. I agree. Because like I said uh, before, before you go, Jim, that's what I was saying that because I felt like he was gonna lose by decision because lately he's been, he's been showing like he hasn't been showing up. Right. Fight, so I feel like, you know, because we know Anthony Smith is a gangster, but he hasn't been showing up for some reason, you know? And I don't know, something about this switching to a main event, I don't know, got me like, I feel like Smith is going to come out throwing bombs, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah, um, same here. I think that this is going to be his his kind of comeback fight. I feel like it, he had better tools, and I feel like um, the people he's lost to have been like the elite competition. You know, um, the last guy he fought is no joke. Santos is no yeah. joke. John Jones is no joke. So I think that this fight will, you know, show everybody that he's still in the game still. You know what I mean? So this is a chance to prove that he's still there and he's still a top competitor. So I have him winning by either first or second round TKO. I'm with John. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised to see that at all. Um I'm just saying that sometimes it's there's something uh to be said for fighting elite competition and just and getting beat up by all that elite competition it's yeah. almost like they yeah. beat it's almost like they beat you down <laughs> to, to a normal to a normal yeah. fighter does, does that make sense yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like a kind of like darren too you know yeah you yeah, yeah. in front of nothing but kill us you know and it's like <clears throat> yeah, i agree though right. i agree it, it's yes it's a it's a fun it's a fun fight because it's like a toss-up only on like not really on paper. It's more. It's gonna be more like who has the heart. This is like a heart yeah. kind of card, you know. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and I like. I, I also like want. I also got to mention that um, what's his name, Devin Clark, um, beat that uh, that that guy. The last guy he beat was no joke, um, Alonzo Menafield. Yeah. Yeah. He's a yeah, monster. That, it's a point. straight up monster, and he like he really thugged that out. Like he he showed that he was a dog. He showed that he could withstand yeah. like all the craziness. <laughs> You know all the all, um, from that guy, so I feel like 
he definitely has enough dog in him to like be to face a guy like Anthony Smith at this point in his career. I agree. And, um, yeah. So we'll just see what happens. That's why I think if it goes the distance, I think Clark is going to come out. I, I have a feeling Clark will come out. I think Smith has to finish it. Yeah, I agree. All right, so there we have it. We're going to be talking about the standout fighters for tomorrow. Hopefully, there's some like savages who like emerge, like a like a Brandon Royval or yeah, like a, yeah. a Michelle I'm excited Mahane type. You know I feel like we're going to have a lot to talk about tomorrow. I'm excited. I agree. <laughs> I agree. All right, yes, sir. Until, Until tomorrow, next. y'all. Peace out, everybody. I still got the best. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>